Mr. Speaker, for me, I want to thank the Supreme Court because they've gone back to the act of the Supreme Court. That indeed, the purpose of why we had the Supreme Court in this country and we really wanted as an aspiration for this country was which court will be there for public interest. And when you look at the objects of the Supreme Court Act, it is very clear, especially at sea, that they need to develop rich jurisprudence that respects Kenyan's history and traditions and facilitate its social, economic, political growth. And Mr. Speaker, when you look at all the cases we've gone through, one of the things that the High Court has always disregarded is public interest. What is this good? You find that in a judgment, Mr. Speaker, this is the same arm of government that has already received resources, it has spent that resources, and then you nullify the whole bill. But you are an arm of government that is spending also. And then there you wonder, what just happened in our country? So for me, we have gone through a rough time of public participation until the last one of Kerogoya, we had to go now to constituencies. At least we've come now to an agreement of both arms that indeed you need to notify, you need to ensure. Remember, Mr. Speaker, Kenyans are not the type where you will force them to come for public participation. And some will come and they will want you to facilitate them 